So I'm going to give it about two more seconds here. Hey guys, I am Ryan Raymond, and tonight I want to talk to you guys about how to use Facebook's Audience Insights tool. Facebook's Audience Insights tool is a really powerful way to analyze users, their interests, um, other topics that they might be interested in, so you can learn how to mash up those niches a little bit. Whoop, let me, uh, got a feedback loop right there. Okay, that's gone. Anyway, so, um, with the audience insights tool, you can uh, develop targeting uh, schemes. You can come up with a niche and an idea before you even design a product. Because if you know you have customers and how big that customer base is, you can know if it's something that's really worth going after and really putting a lot of effort into. So let's hop on over. The first thing that you're gonna need when you do this is a uh, Facebook business manager account. So I'm already here in the insights account. Let me just go back here to the home page. And I will show you guys here. Okay, so when you log in, uh, business.facebook.com and you get this audience building, uh, page building, ads, whole dashboard. It's a lot more powerful than just going in to uh, the Facebook insights on your page that you're running, make sure that you're using business manager. If you're not already, you should be, even if you're not running ads, it's very important that you're using this. Okay, so once you're in here, we're gonna focus on the audience insights manager because you we could spend hours and hours on uh, topics in here. So what I wanna do is you're gonna click on this uh, four dots icon up here, and you're gonna scroll down. And you have advertise, analyze and report, uh, page posts, everything here. This first, this is what we're gonna start with here tonight. We're gonna go to Audience Insights. And it's gonna pop up with this display. Do we wanna start with everyone on Facebook or people connected to one of your pages? So I could start with one of my pages here. So right here, if you already have a page, start with a page because you already have an audience and if you have enough likes, you might be able to get some good info out of them. Uh, so let's go right here. Let's grab this one here. This is a political page. Uh, this is one of my largest audiences. It's about 14, 15,000 uh, likes on Facebook. Um, and I don't really sell to them because it's that's not really how the audience is, that's not how the page is set up. It's not really a store. It's more sharing information about a community and uh, a third party in the political system. So, but I could use this data if I ever wanted to set up like a Shopify store. I can use the data I've collected here from a different brand and target this audience. But there's all sorts of different ways we can do it. But the first thing it's gonna do is tell me all about my audience. So the first thing is, um, it's 32% women, which Facebook is 56% women, and it's 68% men, and Facebook is 45% men. So that means I am a more male-dominated audience. Now, this audience is more than average, is either engaged or married, these are not single people or people who are in relationships. Typically, that's not the whole, but I get a good insight of what this audience is and what their demographics are. Uh, they, most of them have a college degree or higher, so they are educated. Now look at this here. The average Facebook audience is 5% of users are veterans, while, um, 13% of this audience is veterans, they're military, and then there are other job titles here, installation and services, production, uh, arts and entertainment, sports and media. So these, if I wanted to develop designs that are gonna, this audience is going to like, I'm going to need to focus on things that they're interested in. I can go through all, so those are their job titles. Another thing we can do is we can look at the page likes. So we can see right here, one of the number one page likes is the movie, The Third Party Candidate, um, a writer, The Pragmatic Libertarian. So let's see here, uh, politicians that they're interested in, political organizations, clothing brands that they're interested in. So if I was wanting to see what sort of uh, clothing is already being sold in there, you can come right here to the category clothing brand and I could just pop open these two Facebook pages um, for people who are already selling in this niche. So there we go. So they're already designing uh, t-shirts that speak to this audience. And I can look and see that they're getting engagement. 
on their posts. They're not posting a lot, but they are getting engagement. 336 shares on, on a post right there. And, you know, so if they're posting regularly, they're probably uh, doing okay. So that's a good indication that the niche is viable, at least that there's some clothing companies that my audience is already liking in the niche. So now that I already know that, I could probably start uh, building something that's actually a clothing brand that's not this page. Um, there we go. So other pages that they like. So I could look at people on this insight right here. So if I put this here, look at this here. I voted for Gary Johnson for president. What if I do? I voted for, okay. Sometimes in the interests here, you can put in a page and it will come up with um, the uh, page for it. If it's big enough and it's got enough, a big enough audience. But we can look at um, how much of my audience likes it and compared to the monthly active people for the page so all sorts of different affinity how they're gonna uh, do well with it location you're gonna be able to come in here you can see where what cities and states people are in now this is all great if you have a page to analyze but uh, some of you guys are gonna come up to me and say ryan i haven't uh ooh, okay hopefully remind me later there okay sorry got a little error on my computer uh, some of you guys are going to come to me and say, Ryan, I don't have a Facebook page. I don't have an audience to start with. So here's what you can do if that's the case. Start up here at the top. So right now we are back to the base level of Facebook. So we are all the demographics of Facebook. So Facebook is 56% women, 45% men, 18 to 24 year olds. You know, here's the categories of how they break down and what their job titles are arts and you know all about everyone on facebook but we can start right here in interests and we can come through so let's say we wanted to do something here so let's start with hobbies and activities so what are the options under hobbies and activities pets pets are always big pets are always a good option when designing products and selling them online for anything especially print on demand Okay, so let's start with people who like dogs. Let's just make this really simple. Dog shirts sell well. So people who like dogs, what else do people who like dogs like? That's a good thing to know because we already know, and there's a link to this video in the description, that mashing up niches is a good way to um, really get sales and boost your rankings on Amazon and other websites. So let's look at what these people like. Now let's check their page likes. What comes at the top right here? Um, let's say we wanted to target men. Let's, let's even narrow this down further. I'm gonna throw men in there. I just wanna target men who like dogs. What are some of the things that they're going to be interested in? Look at this, pages, alien gear holsters, uh, AR500 armor, car ID. So we could add another interest that they might be interested in. We can niche it down to people in the United States. So let's see what the top cities are. El Paso, Texas. So right there is a way you can even, look at that, the all audience of people who like dogs, there is a higher affinity of people um, in El Paso, Texas that have an interest in dogs than anything else. Now I'm really curious. You could take this and just jump on Amazon and you could say, El Paso dog shirt, El Paso dog shirt. So you could take any of your popular topics about dogs and mash it up with El Paso. Um, like literally El Paso, Texas, nothing. It, it, so you can target people who are from El Paso and who like dogs. Now, if you did this, you could sell it on Amazon. You could even come back into your audience here and you could create an ad that is gonna target people in El Paso who like dogs. And it's just gonna look at that audience. So what happens if I um, add in El Paso? So what happens if I really narrow down this audience? Because El Paso was in the higher end there. Now let's take a look at the demographics of the men in El Paso. So a lot more of them are single. So they're single, that's something you could do. So I'm not married, I have a dog and I live in El Paso. I mean, you could get really targeted and you know, there's a whole Facebook or a Reddit, uh, subreddit about cringy targeted t-shirts. But look at this here, 
military veterans. Once again, extremely high demographic right there. Um, we could come in here, connections, advanced. Let's see here, work. Let's say we just want to look at military and veterans. So only people in El Paso, Texas, who are military veterans who like dogs. This, that's how detailed we can get it. That is four and a half to 5,000 people meet that criteria. There are four and a half to 5,000 people, men who live in El Paso, Texas, who are military veterans or currently in the military who have an interest in dogs. I don't know how much more specific you can get to niching down than that. We can take out the El Paso. You don't have to go to a state and city. But let's even just look at the people. So just by taking out um, El Paso in the United States, let me just add in back in the United States. Okay, so now we're looking at military and veterans. And these people also have some additional job uh, definitions here. But now let's take a look at these page likes a little bit more. Uh, video creator. Sometimes this this will refresh through. You can do a, a search all. Um, but look at the page. This audience likes Vet TV veteran television. So things about um, emergency Vet TV and shows. Hey Biz, thank you. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate you being here. And for those of you guys watching on replay, I do these live, and there is a chat, so you can always come in, say hi to me, and. Uh, I'm always happy to have you guys here. I appreciate it. So you can do why I'm not re-enlisting. So there's a, there's a topic right there. These people have, are probably making jokes about, you know, things, military life. Um, so you could maybe even join those pages, follow those pages and get ideas that are going to be relevant to the niche and audience. Guys, I think this is about as far as I'm going to go into this one here tonight. We could spend hours and hours diving in here. I highly recommend you guys get a business account on Facebook and dive into the Audience Insights tool. Do some research. You can really get down and dirty and find out what your audience is really interested in. If you're selling dog shirts, find out what type of other things people who are interested in dogs are in. Dogs and military mashups could be a great way of going about it. Dogs and military in El Paso, Texas with single men. 5,000 of them right there in El Paso. I bet you guys can make a sale. Guys, thank you. Watch another video. Smash the like button. Hit that uh, notification bell if you haven't. Only about 30% of you guys have. And I'll see you guys next time.